Hey guys, good morning. So um, yesterday, I'm, again, I'm really sorry that the rapture didn't happen. I really thought it was going to. Um, I honestly believed in all my heart. That's why we, we did the live and everything because of all the signs that the Lord has been giving for the last couple months, literally led up to that day and time. Um, but I'm not losing my faith in Jesus. I know he has a purpose for everything. Um, he did give me a message about the the wedding rehearsal and, and checking people's hearts. So I do believe that's his plan, guys. And um, I, I know he's coming soon. Yesterday when I was sitting there in the chair and I was praying and, you know, I, I asked God every day. I said, God, if this is not from you, if this is from the enemy, you know, uh, I ask him every day to take it away, take it away. I pray it every day. You know, I cast it out, whatever. I pray it all the time. And um, Jesus always confirms. Hey guys, sorry, my uh, storage ran out. But Jesus always confirms everything. Um, I mean, I walk outside and the wind blows a certain way when I'm praying. I can't explain it. I have like a strong, really strong relationship with Jesus and the Lord. I seek his word every day. And I do know the verse, no man knows the hour. Okay, so... I was confused when I heard that, but I thought because he said no man knows what the Spirit knows. I don't know. All I know is God allowed it to happen. So either God was testing me to see if I was paying attention, to see if I was letting the enemy creep, creep in, or um, I don't know. I don't know what happened, guys, but I do know so much has come true, and um, so much has come true, and What's weird is he always, like, the last two days he's had me post the March 30th message, which is what's happening now and getting ready to happen. And, and the April 30th message, he's having me post that as well. So, um, God is very complex. I'm not going <laughs> to try to figure out what God is doing. I know he's moving. I know Jesus is coming. I have no doubt in my mind Jesus is coming for his bride. And um, I truly am sorry. I, you know, said an apology earlier on my on notes if you read it. But I would never want to give anyone false hope about a date or anything like that. And I literally tried to get out of the date. You know, I have this relationship with Jesus where when I'm writing something down and if it's wrong, you know, he goes like this. But I tried to get out of the date and my hand was held so tight. And I don't know, guys. I don't know if Jesus, you know, he mentioned something about a wedding rehearsal. Um, I don't know. All I know is I have prayed every day and I have said, listen, Lord, if this is not you, you know, please take it away. Please take it away. Other people have prayed. Nothing ever happens. Guys, I don't do anything to get demonic entities near me um i'm always in the word i'm always worshiping jesus i'm always praying um and i feel it and so many other christians have asked jesus too and they walk in the spirit and they feel it also so it's one of those things where you just have to take it to jesus and do not rely on your own understanding now i um i was wrong you know i'm sorry um I really am sorry. I didn't mean to get anyone's hopes up, but I truly believed. I would not have said any of it if I didn't believe. Um, and, you know, I'm sorry for my husband. Um, I put him through some stuff, so, you know, I'm not trying to <clears throat> upset anyone. But it's hard for me because, you know, when you um, truly believe that Jesus is coming and you don't want to miss out on saving a soul... Um, you know, you feel that conviction in your heart. And we all know if you have the Spirit, you know what the Holy Spirit feels like. You know what that conviction feels like. And that's what I get. I get that conviction. And I, I recognize that conviction because that conviction has told me to buy people's meals before. And it's not a voice for the people who think that I'm psychosis or whatever. It's not a voice at all. I, I don't hear voices. It's it's thoughts of the Holy Spirit and it's conviction. Um, and yes, and I do know the enemy can creep in and try to confuse you. And 
Um, but, you know, Daniel 12, I do believe is being unsealed right now. I'm believing what Jesus is telling me, guys. And I know he has a reason for everything. Um, and I did get in my spirit yesterday. He said, um, he said, do not worry, my child. They will all know very soon that you are truly hearing from me. So whatever that means, I'm just going to keep the faith. And, um, you know, it's tough. It's tough. I've, I don't have that support system around me. And um, I have my online believers and, and friends, you know, so um, it's definitely tough. But um, my heart is in the right place. And for the ones that, you know, come with so much hate and anger, take it to Jesus first. Take it to Jesus. Because, you know, there's been so many people that have come with me, come to me, and said I was false and all that stuff. But you know what? Then they took it to Jesus. And Jesus revealed to them that I was true. So... I can't explain any of this. Like I said, it's, I was normal before December 30th and all this started happening, um, you know, with the pouring the spirit out and everything. And, um, but I, I truly love you guys and I would never do anything to want to hurt anyone or try to deceive anyone. I don't collect any money. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing really in it for me except for saving souls and trying to reach people and wake up. And maybe it was all a test. Who knows? I mean, were you ready? Were you ready to make the rapture on that day? You know, I truly believe Jesus is trying to wake his people up. He's trying to wake his people up because so many people are asleep. And I'll tell you what, you know, when I had to endure all the lovely hate and comments and people making stitches about me, um, I fell asleep in the chair and the Lord gave me a dream. He gave me a dream and there was a, a giant moon in the sky, a full moon. And then there was another moon next to it. It was a crescent moon, a half crescent moon. And then there was another object in the sky. And I walked outside and I said, see guys, I told you Jesus was coming. And I woke up feeling so much peace. So I know that was Jesus's way of um, trying to comfort me. And... It is what it is. I mean, I, I, no one is perfect. No one is perfect. So I truly am sorry if I hurt anyone by claiming a date. And I guess I'm just going to, no matter what, just not say a date, never say a date because it could just be a test. I don't know. I don't know, guys. If you were in my shoes, you, it, it's harder than you think. I've already sacrificed a lot because I truly believe. And you can say I'm crazy. You can say all those things, but I know I'm not. I've been normal my whole life. I don't take anything. I've never been crazy. Supernatural. And it's Jesus. And you either believe and you walk in the spirit or you don't. It's one of those things where I'm not losing the faith. I still look up into Jesus every day. And um, yeah, you know, yesterday my Jesus clock went off. Right when I was crying and praying. And the, the scripture was, you will suffer a little bit. Um but it will, but then it will be my glory or something. I can't remember the exact scripture, but it went off on my Jesus clock the minute that I was crying and praying. So God's using me, whether he's using me to be suffered, you're to be ridiculed, to be, a, a, what is it called? A doormat. I don't know, guys. I don't know what he's doing, but he's using me for something. And, um, I'm just, I'm just trying to be obedient because I love Jesus and I'm not trying to hurt anyone in the process because I love my husband. You know, he's great. He just, he doesn't understand the preacher thing and not a lot of people do, but I know in my heart, the true father of, of Jesus, the, the love of Jesus, the love of the father. And it's just, it's what I believe. We don't all have to believe the same things. We don't. And always take everything to Jesus, you know, because I claim that he's God. I claim he's the son of God, that he came to earth as a man in the flesh. He bled on the cross and he died for us. And um, if the enemy crept in and this was all God's way of showing me that I'm not ready yet or I'm, um, I don't know. I don't know, but I know something's happening and I know Holy Spirit believers 
feel it when I get a message. They feel it in their spirit. It's a spiritual thing. And you have to walk in the spirit to understand. Um, but again, I'm truly sorry if I hurt anyone. I never meant to hurt anybody. And um, I don't know where this is going to lead. I don't know. I don't know. The Lord has just given me all the messages he's going to give me. And then just have me repost what I had already posted. That's kind of what's happening in the last two days. Um, but I may start like a private Facebook group. I was thinking about that on Seek Heavenly Things. If if you guys want me to do that, I can do that. And if I get anything, you know, share it in the group. That way, not so many haters and scoffers and enemies come in and all that stuff. So, but no one's perfect. And you're not perfect either. So we all fall short from his glory. And I guess yesterday or the day before, I fell short from his glory. So, okay. Anyway, I love you all. And ignore the Telegram and the WhatsApp people on YouTube because they're trying to scam you. God bless.